हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कानपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन बीकानेर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एसे द स्पेक्टेटर क्लब बाय रिचर्ड स्टील व्हिच इज इंक्लूडेड इन बी ए फर्स्ट ईयर सिलेबस ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एम जी एस यूनिवर्सिटी बीकानेर फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑथर रिचर्ड स्टील इंग्लिश एसेइस्ट प्ले राइट एंड स्टेट्समैन who founded and contributed frequently to the influential 18th century journal the spectator he was famous for contributing to the general spectator steel was born in dublin and entered army in 1694 and during his term of military service he wrote three comic dramas for which he became famous the funeral the lying lover and the tender husband In 1707, Steel was appointed to edit the London Gazette, an official government publication. One of the most active and prominent men of letters in the reign of Queen Anne, inseparably associated in the history of literature with his personal friend Joseph Addison. Addison and Richard Steel lived rich lives on their own. but here we talk about them together as a way of introducing the collaborative journalism for which they are now best remembered both addison and steel uh, addison and steel are remembered for introducing the collaborative journal in the form of the periodical essays the essay series named the tatler the tatler and the spectator Uh, the periodical essay was the peculiar product of 18th century social life and its conditions uh, it is called periodical because it was not published in book form like other types of essays it differs from other type of essays in as much as it aims for deliberately social is that the improvement of the manners and morals of the people therefore what they have published it is called as the social essays both as a man and a writer steel is one of the most attractive figures of his time much of his writing is easy rapid slip shot but deeply sincere reflecting his personality there appears in his natural temper wrote his contemporary the philosopher george berkeley something very generous and a great benevolence to mankind so steel writings are marked with open frankness which makes them extremely attractive throughout his work he is autobiographical but his self revelation is unconscious he does not he does also tell the fact of his life but more often he reveals the feelings of his heart in his writings in the case of no other english writer does the written word more faithfully as depicted by steel now we are going to have a look at the summary of the essay the spectator club the spectator which is made up of several fictional characters each representing a distinct segment of society each representing a different strata of society through the eyes of mr spectator who is a shy observer of the others and of the london society the author's comment on social and cultural issues to give the essay's structure steel created memorable character sir roger d coverly the spectator club and presented the character of sir roger d coverly he is a 56 year old bachelor and country gentleman as its central spokesman other member of this fictional group included a merchant his name is sir andrew freeport then there is one lawyer a shoulder a clergyman and a socialite will honeycomb who contributed gossip and interesting examples of behavior to mr spectator through d coverly and freeport addison and steel are able to contrast the political views of the tory and big parties and through honeycomb to satirize the 
ill effects of an overly social life on personal morality and good judgment as i have already told you the most memorable member of the club is sir roger d coverley he is a confused member of landed gentry whose political philosophical and religious ideas are about a hundred years behind the times he represents addison and steel's version of typical tory of the mid 18th century because he is too conservative in thoughts old fashioned clinging to outmoded moral beliefs unsympathetic to the plight of the common man blissfully unaware of economic and social changes in society the remainder of the club members include mr spectator who gave opinions on many issues so we can say that in the essay the spectator club many issues that is the political social uh, maybe economic religious conditions of the time are discussed in the essay through the different fictional characters presented by richard steel there is the templar he discusses all the things related to education legal matters and literature then there is will honeycomb social life including fashions of the day the clergyman who talked on religion and moral issues of the day sir andrew freeport who presented his thoughts on business and economic matters he was the opposite of sir roger and then there is captain sentry who talked about the military matters in short we can say some member of the club could and would discuss virtually every meaningful aspect of 18th century british society because when we have a look at the spectator club we can uh, we can see that there are many members who belong to different uh, strata of society who belong to different setup of society and they are giving their views on different aspects of life whether it is social whether it is religious whether it is economic whether it is political what is interesting is that the spectator club as steel depicts is is made up of fictional characters that makes this straight up fiction which means that even though the spectator was a journalistic publication a lot of the writing published in it is was fictional thank you i hope you like the video in next video we are going to discuss the essay spectator club in detail thank you